Emergence of Macroeconomics In this module, you will understand the need for studying macroeconomics, identify the goals of an economy at aggregate level, and analyze the working of a capitalist economy. The network of all the economies in the interconnected world is quite complex. Every individual economic agent is affected by the economy. We usually depend on the economy to get a job or business opportunity so that we can earn money to buy the goods and services we need to survive. Studying macroeconomics allows us to better understand if an economy is going to get better. Is it going to get worse? And what should be done to achieve economic goals? A growing economy provides greater opportunities for better lives, while a contracting economy can be tragic for almost everyone. Macroeconomics is the study of the entire economy, that is economic output, unemployment, inflation, interest rate, and government policies. It analyzes and helps formulating policies so that we can develop and nurture the economy in the best possible way. Policymakers have three major economic goals. Attain high growth rates, control unemployment, and maintain price stability. Macroeconomics was not considered as a serious subject until the Great Depression in 1930s. During 1929 to 1933, there was a huge decline in economic output and employment in many countries of Europe and North America. This crisis made economists appreciate the need for systematic methods to measure the overall economy and theories that can guide policies to fix potential problems. We will be examining the working of the economy of a capitalist country while studying various related concepts. In a capitalist economy, production activities are carried out by private enterprises. Each enterprise requires four factors for the production of goods and services. Capital, which includes the variety of inputs in the form of money or machinery land and other natural resources such as water, forest, minerals, labor to carry out production, and entrepreneur who sells the goods and services produced in the market. Macroeconomics sees an economy as a combination of four sectors, namely households, firms, government, and foreign sectors. We will be studying about the flow of income and resources among these sectors in our next module. Let's recap. Macroeconomics is the study of the economy as a whole, that is, economic output, unemployment, inflation, interest rate, and government policies. Major economic goals are to attain high growth rates, to control unemployment, and to maintain price stability. Four factors of production are labor, land, capital, entrepreneurship.